It's me, Robin, with Simple Food, Simple Life. Thanks for joining me today. I'm at my kitchen table because today we're going to do a Christmas crab. This is what you're going to need. You're going to need a cardboard cylinder from toilet paper roll. Or you can use a paper towel cylinder. You're just going to cut it down to about the size of a toilet paper roll. Okay? So you need one or more of these. It depends on how many you want to make. And you're going to need a glue stick because it's less messy and it's easy to use. So a good old, I have an Elmer's glue stick here. Uh, you're going to need some sort of a, I just call it a scraper, but you can use an old um, credit card, gift card, whatever you like. Because you want, you're going to need this to smooth out your paper, speaking of which, you're going to need some kind of decorative paper. This happens to be some scrapbook paper, but you can use any paper you like. Um, whatever you want is up to you. Now, I chose this <clears throat> out of my stash because it seemed Christmassy. <laughs> it's stripey and it seemed Christmassy, so I'm going to use that. All right. And these, and you're going to need some scissors. Have some scissors. You're going to need a pen or a pencil to do a tiny bit of marking. Not much. And you can have this or not. It is a, a hole punch. But you can, if you don't want to use this, you don't have to. I'm just showing you an option. Okay. And... Uh, you might need some ribbon or twine or something like that if you want. You don't have to use that either. So, all right. I'm going to, first thing we're going to do is we are going to flatten out this cylinder. Right now, it's a cylinder. But we're going to turn it into a rectangle. Because if you flatten out a cylinder, the cylinder becomes a rectangle. See that rectangular shape? Okay, now this is another thing this is handy for is because we want to crease this. We want to make it as flat as we can. For the time being. This just makes it a little bit easier to work with. Okay? Now, be aware, it's not going to lay completely flat. It's going to kind of have that little bit of a, a bulge there. Okay, now, next thing we're going to do is we are going to cut this to fit. We're going to cut this paper. First thing we're going to do is we're going to measure a little bit here. And I'm going to roll it over this way. See there? To kind of get an idea of how big we want to make it. Okay? So I'm just doing that to it. And honestly, you just do this however it is convenient for you. So I'm going to take my pen. I'm going to pull a mark here. Just a little itsy bitsy there so I know where to cut it. Okay? All right. Now I'm going to take my scissors. I'm going to cut along this line. If it's not perfect, don't worry. There we go. Now you can see that I've got this just like this, just like this. If it overlaps, that's fine. Actually, we kind of want it to overlap, so it's not that big of a deal. So you can see here what we got, okay? Now, because I don't want it to go right to the edge, I'm going to trim this off just a little bit. Okay. 
Yeah, so I said you don't have to be perfect. Who of us are perfect anyway? Not me. <laughs> okay. Let's check it out. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Maybe I'll trim a little bit more of it off. See how imperfect I am? Look at that. How how cool could a cool could? Okay. So I'm just giving you an idea here. You just do it however you like. Okay? Now I'm going to, which I found this to be a little easier. I'm going to put the glue on the cylinder, on the cardboard. Now, you know what? Um, you don't, I'm not worried about my table. This is a very old table and this, this glue is just gonna come right off because it's Elmer's school glue and it says right there, it's washable. And you notice this is purple. <clears throat> That's so you can see where you've applied the glue, right? So, here I go. We're going to put my glue on the one side first. That's This is why I like the glue stick, okay? Because it's easier, it's less messy, it's not runny. I can see where I've been. Okay, see there? Awesome. All right, now I'm just going to... Put this on there, like that, and then I'm going to take the glue stick and I'm going to glue the other side. So here we go. And this glue dries clear, it does not dry purple. That's good to know, isn't it? <laughs> now, see what we're going to do here? I need to put some glue on this edge of the paper. I'm not going to go right to the edge just yet, but I'll show you. And then I'm going to take my little scraper thing here and I'm going to smooth it down. Like that. Okay. Now then, see here? See what we got here? But we need to we need to let this dry. So that's what we're gonna do. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tuck this in. So I'm going to trim this up here just a little bit. Make it more flexible. Do you hear what I'm doing? There we go. Just going to trim that down a little bit. Just a little. Just so I can tuck this part in. It doesn't have to be glued. You can glue it if you want to, but honestly, you don't need to. You can just tuck it in. When you uh, cut it like that, it kind of makes it a little bit better so that you don't have to, so you don't have to, it won't wrinkle on you. So let's do that. And then we're just going to tuck that in there. Isn't that nifty? <laughs> That's pretty nifty. Now if you feel compelled to put a little glue on the inside, please do. That's fine. You can smush a little on there before you tuck it in, but I never feel the need to do that. Although, I might need to feel the need to do that right there. Because that is kind of flopping up. Okay. All right. Now, now we need to let this 
uh, dry a little bit. And as it dries, it will um, stiffen up because of the glue, right? Okay. So let's put that down there. I'm going to let it dry for a few minutes, and then we will be back, and we'll finish it up. It doesn't have to sit for very long. What do you think so far? It's getting there. Okie doke. It seems to be pretty dry. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to fold up the end. Now remember I said it wasn't going to be completely flat. So we're going to take the one side like this, get you here, and we're gonna we're gonna push that in, okay? Just like that. It'll be a little stiff, but that's okay. Now we're gonna do the other side. We're gonna push the other side in until they uh, they kind of meet like that. And just kind of, you just work them, finagle them a little bit. Just like that. Now you're going to go to the other side. See, you're going to do the same thing. And one will overlap a little bit. See here? It's going to overlap. Which that's fine. And then we're going to do it to the other side. We're going to do the same thing. Like I said, it's going to be a little bit stiff, but that's okay. All right. So there it is. And just finagle it. It'll be stiff and very sturdy. <laughs> All right, and if you need to, you can just press the ends together, just kind of hold them a little bit. You're not going to glue this part, okay? You're just going to going to bend the ends. All right, now it looks like this, okay? Now, you can just about guess that we are making these to put something in. And um, you can use these for little um, little trinket gifts. Put in there whatever you want. Uh, depends on the size of the gift card. Sometimes a gift card will fit in there. Like I said, it depends on the size of it. You can fold up some cash, put the cash in there. You can put coins in there. You can put candy in here. I would recommend you use a wrapped candy, especially if you're going to give it to a teacher or it's a gift for you know just someone outside the family make sure your your goodies are wrapped up and I'm going to show you now we'll show you how we can take this I have a little piece of ribbon here this is just curling ribbon that's all it is which is pretty cheap and I'm going to attempt <laughs> I'm going to open the one end I'm going to attempt to put in put a hole here, I'm going to punch the hole here, try to get it centered if I can it may be iffy but we're going to try it this one for some reason is a, a heart shaped all right, let's see. Keep in mind, that's pretty stiff, but that's okay. So, it's just a little hole. You can put that hole in there any way you want to. You can um, use the end of a pen. Just be careful. Don't hurt yourself. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to wind this ribbon through here. And I'm going to... See if we can get you over here better. I'm gonna 
tie it up into like a little bow. It doesn't even really have to be a bow. It can be whatever you want. Remember that curling ribbon, it curls with scissors, which is kind of nice. So the reason I'm showing you how to do this ribbon in here, or you can use twine, you can use whatever you want, is because you can use it to hang on a Christmas tree. Uh, you can put somebody's name on it. That way they know it's theirs. Uh, you could put it on your Christmas or party table setting. Any party. doesn't have to be Christmas. It can be a baby shower. Um, you can put this on, on a plate as a not only a, a place card, but with a little treat in there, maybe after dinner mints or something like that. Isn't that awesome? I'm going to take my little scissors here and I'm going to curl this up. Do the other side. My mom taught me how to do this when I was wrapping Christmas presents when I was a kid. And honestly, I think I'll just that up a little bit too. I'm going to zhuzh it, zhuzh it. Okay, awesome. And then you just uh, fold it back up because it'll be easier to do the second time around. You just fold it back up. And there you go. It's ready to go. Isn't that cute? I think I think these are adorable. And they're really easy to make. And honestly, you can use uh, Christmas wrap, any kind of theme wrap paper that you want, if you've got some little scraps of that. Uh, you can use absolutely any paper. How about plain brown paper with uh, twine and um, something old-fashioned in there? You can make this to go along with any theme of your Christmas decor. Right? Okay. Isn't that awesome? So cute. Now then, I want to show you some other ones that I've made in the past. I just happen to have a box here with some goodies in there. <laughs> so, <clears throat> let's see. We've got, um, there's one. Now, I just put twine in that one. These, these are covered actually with um, scrapbook paper. It's just scraps that I had. Here's another one. Keep in mind also that some of the cardboard cylinders in your toilet paper is might be a little bit wider than other ones. Which that's fine too. So here's one. Here's another one. You can see how terrific they are. And here's one. Now this is um, like, uh, it reminds me of kind of a baby themed paper. And you can see that these are just as nice. I made these a long, quite a long time ago. These are just as good, just as nice. So, <clears throat> what do you think? Do you think that this might be something you might like to try? Here's one. And here's another one made with a coordinating paper as well. I think this would be fun. You can get the kids involved. And just remember, it doesn't have to be perfect anytime you're working with children. Honestly, don't ever expect things to be perfection. Because the perfection is not in the craft. The perfection is in the activity together. Right? Okay. All right. So that's it. I hope you give it a try. You might like it. <laughs> All right. Just sparks your imagination. What you can do with just odds and ends and scraps that you have around your house. This is practically free. <laughs> All right. That's it. I love you guys. If I can do it, you can do it. And as always, you just remember that little is much. God is in it. All right. I love you. And I will talk to you later. Bye.